Hi hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm sorry I've not been posting videos all this while because I've been busy and I've not been feeling too well. So today's video I'll be sharing a tutorial on how to use Adobe Draw. Most of the comments I've received is on how to use the app. Most people don't understand how to use the app. So today I'll be giving details of um, how to use Adobe Draw. You can get the app from the App Store or the Play Store. It's free. It works both on Android and iOS. So, but the function is quite different on different application um, on different devices. On iOS, I think it's better because you have different options with iOS. So, what this is your project. Once you open the um, the Adobe Draw application, it shows you this first page, which is your project. This is where you've seen the previous work you've done before, and the settings. This is where this part. Is the setting this part enables you to log in into your Adobe Draw account and you can see about Adobe Draw things to know about it and the preference this preference is different on the Android version on the Android version you don't have this um, free canvas rotate on the Android version and you don't have this show touches on the Android version so it's kind of different so this is my setting for my stroke when, whenever I make a line on Adobe Draw, it tends to be smooth. So if you want to get that smooth effect, you have to put your stroke to be after the drawing. If you put your stroke to be while you're drawing, your hand is not straight or your pen cannot be straight. Like when you're um, sketching the line or tracing out the line. So once you put it in on after drawing, then you tend to get um, a smoother line. Then back to the walk. This is your work, your project. Then you start a new project by clicking on this plus sign over here. Once you click on the sign, it's going to show you different formats you want your illustration to be or your project to be. But norm normally what I do is I pick the iPad Pro, even though I don't have the iPad Pro, but I prefer to pick this um, format because it gives me more space to work on and it's perfect for portrait drawing. And this is a page where you'll be working on and I'm sure you've seen this in most of my videos and this part is sorry this area of the application is where you tend to get the brushes you want they have five different brushes and one eraser the first one is the round brush as you can see so you can hold it down to change the format or the setting you want so the first one is the round brush where which normally I use for my blending and for painting color and this second one which is the basic taper the basic taper I use it for outlining because it gives me smooth transitions and the basic flat basic chisel and basic terminal I don't really use those ones this, these are for people who want to go into calligraphy they tend to enjoy using this three set of brush more so the basic ones I use are the basic round and the basic taper so now talking about the application as you can see on the top right corner here you have them um, five or six options yes you have six options this is to undo or redo anything you make like now I'm on the first brush so if I should make a line and I don't like it I can undo it by clicking on the back arrow but if I'm like okay I'm okay with that line then I can hold it down and click on redo the line comes back so that's it about the first um, option there the second option is for basic shapes like if you want shapes there are different shapes and instead of you trying to get a smooth shape you can just click on any of this shape you want so let me go with the circle shape like if you want a smooth circle and a perfect circle just click on that shape and trace around it this way you get the shape you want and if you tap it twice you also get the shape you want and the third option is if you hold it down it's going to fill everything in with that color as you can see so if you want they have variety of shapes you can play with it play with anyone you like and it also has some options of like stamp or talk or bubbles or chat bubbles anyone you want so just play with it and the third one this part is for layers this part and um, 
is you know not most of the time when you draw you want to make sure you have your drawings on different layers if you have your drawings on a single layer it's going to give you problems because um let me explain the basic things about layering so let me go back now so the first one is i'm using this round brush as you can see then let me try with this shape so i have the shape picked out and i filled it in with a circle this is on this layer then if i should add another layer on top of the layer i probably change the color let me say change the color i'm coming back to color basic i'll explain that part to you and change the color and add the same circle let me see the circle here you see the circle is going to be on top of the previous layer you've done but if you want the black circle to be up on top of the yellow circle you just have to just hold this and drag it below the other layer and now it's below the layer and what's interesting about this is that once you have a drawing on a particular layer if you make a mistake let's say i'm drawing um let's say i'm drawing now let me use the basic taper okay i'm drawing on this black layer so i'm trying to put like some basic sign and basic design and you're not okay with the shape you just make don't be scared to clean it to erase it because you since you're still on this um first layer the only thing that is going to clean is anything you've drawn on that layer like so if i should go too deep i'll clean part of the um, black so but as you can see it's not touching any part of the yellow line because i'm not on this yellow layer what if i come back to this yellow layer and i try to erase anything it's going to erase things on this yellow layer and not on the black layer do you understand the point um the explanation i give about layers so this is the explanation i give about layer so the fourth um option here is for exporting your project and to saving your image and to sending it in the time lapse you can get time lapse videos you can um, send it to your creative cloud as pdf or psd and you can save the image and obviously share save it to anywhere you want to save it to so this option gives you that variety and sometimes you see that i upload time lapse video without me illustrating or showing you how i make this cartoon is because once you click on the time lapse video it just shows you a time lapse of everything you've done on that project so as you can see these are everything i've done on, on that project and that's what the time lapse just basically explains so the third fourth one uh, i'll get no the fifth one the fifth one is just the format just showing you things you need to know the settings if you're not okay with any of the settings if you want greed if you want and i don't really use this part of the um application so i have nothing much to say about this and the last one is for you to take away all the options so you can have enough space to do whatever you want to work with like if you're working and you feel like the layer um the, the layers options is giving you a problem you can take it out or the color option is giving you a problem you can take it out then so you can have enough space so you can click it back to bring back all those layerings so now back to this um left hand corner for options let me get rid of all this um of all these um drawings i've made so back to the um to this left hand corner let me go with the first brush as always so the first brush as you can see there's size there's opacity there's size opacity and color so you have options of picking up colors and to put a particular color you want let's say let's go with size this size once you slide it upward it increases in size once you reduce it the size decreases as you can see so this enables you to draw bigger lines instead of you trying to use a particular size of brush and trying to make it fuller and trying to get it to be thicker 
the best option for you to just do is just to increase the brush size and you get the option you want you just get it full light instead of you stressing and trying to get it perfect so the second option is opacity um let me go with a darker color let me go with a darker color now the opacity as you can see let me use a bigger brush like it, this actually helps me in blending the opacity can varies you can increase or reduce the opacity but for blending i'm always reducing the opacity let's say i have this um this colored out and i want to add more more like reduced color to it i will reduce the opacity to any level i want to then you notice the difference still the same color but the opacity is different and the consistency and thickness is different but still the same color as you can see it's it's darker here medium and lighter but still the same color so this has helped me a lot in blending and the more you add um a brush stroke on a lighter opacity the more it tends to get darker and thicker so it get the fuller and the richer color like the one here so for you to pick up colors sometimes you just see me getting colors into my portrait and into my drawings the color option enables you to go for different color you have the wheel where you can slide it around to get any color you want the one around the edges are the thicker deep colors and if you move in closely into the wheel you get lighter and brighter color as you can see so this is blue i'm on the blue but once i move closer i start getting light blue kind of a color and as you can see until it gets to white so and this slider helps you to know how thick or how um, light you want the color to be let me explain okay um i have a red color this red is too big so yes i have a red color i've shaded the color in to increase the brush size so back to co the color the, the this color is brighter even though it's on a um solid tone like it's not a bright tone like it's on a solid tone so i'm still on that red color if i should move the slider down the colors become thick the color becomes thick as you can see like this is more like the saturation it's increasing and decreasing the saturation as you can see this has nothing to do with um opacity the opacity is different because with opacity it's more transparent but with the color hue and saturation you can see the difference in the color tone like brighter and darker and this is a basic color but if you want a brighter happier color is you have to move the slider in towards in towards the the mid you see now you get another color which is a brighter color of this see this is more coral and not red and the same thing happens once you move the slider downwards it's the color gets darker and darker as you can see so these are the basic things about coloring so the next thing i want to show you on adobe draw is um this let me add a new layer and delete this other layer because I don't need it anymore so this is a new layer so I'm on this new draw layer is this part this setting part I use this mostly for my basic taper brush so this is a basic taper brush and this is how it works as you can see it has a sharp pointy edge compared to the round brush which is just round at the edges so this is the difference between these two brushes so that's why most of the time I use the basic taper because it's hard to connect um, this brush together as you can see there's a problem there so for you to connect this 
lines together is always hard it doesn't make it look smooth but comparing to the basic taper brush because of its sharp edges it enables you to connect different lines easily sorry so let me do this in a different option so so you can see the comparative view let me do it on this layer i'll drop my hand while i'm connecting them it's not smooth because i have a setting i need to change but comparing the both of them you can see the basic taper does justice to connecting the lines together compared to the round brush and the setting i wanted to show you about this basic taper brush is um for you to have smoother transition so once you click on setting on the basic taper the all the brushes have that same settings as you can see but the one i always change is the basic taper so this is the setting and you have pressure dynamic and you have velocity dynamic the thing i do is for me to not get all this um thick um end and tiny tip it just i just turn up the velocity dynamic i still prefer to keep the pressure dynamic on because this gives a cartoony feeling to my drawing but if i turn it off it will just be like a straight line you tracing things out well with the pressure dynamic it gives this cartoony effect to my drawing so let me try that out now the velocity dynamic is turned off i'll show you the difference of what this does so this is pressure dynamic velocity dynamic is turned off and i would trace while dropping my um finger so So now I know the lines are not perfect because I'm actually using my finger to draw this line. I don't have a stylus or pen yet, so I'm using my finger. That's why it's not really connected. So the velocity dynamic was turned off for this. And looking at how the velocity dynamic was not turned off, let's see. Let's try it out. So as you can see what I was talking about, it became fuller at the tip and later it went thinner and fuller again so you can see it gets fuller thinner and just like that so this makes your works look different the lines are not completely in the right proportion see as you can see it maintains the same size but this it gets full at a point then it becomes thin at a point as you can see so you can't just draw a stroke of brush and it will follow the same line but once it turned off it just goes smoothly do you see so it's quite different and see what I'm talking about the tip is thinner and this is fuller so turning off the um, velocity dynamic can help you get smoother drawing so the next thing I want to talk about is on the layers like when you have a layer there are different options you can get but this option the blend mode is only available to ios you can blend this layer with the layer below with different options you have the darken the multiplied lighting screen and overlays soft light difference luminosity luminosity and color so this option is only available for ios and um you have transform, transform all layer, duplicate and delete. Let me explain that in details. So let me say I have like this shape drawn. So I have this shape drawn, the circle. And I don't like where it is. I don't like the fact that the circle is on this um, region of the drawing. I wanted the circle to be below around this region like the lower region what i do is i just click on transform i'm not transforming all the layers i'm only transforming that particular layer so i move i can move it down to any place i want it to be as you can see i'm putting it in the middle then another 
thing once you have like different layers so i'm going to try different shapes on different layers say so the first layer i'm going to draw um a square let me move it towards the top I draw a square so it's already registered here i can't move the um the square anymore as you can see i can't move it at all because i've drawn on it and the second layer i have a triangle on the second layer let me change the color so let me move it below so i have this color and i want this um shapes to be like into each other I want the shapes to be in each other. What I just do, I just transform. Hold on the layer you want to and transform only that layer. So I'm holding this layer, which is the tri um, the square layer, and I'm transforming it to be um, on the circle, as you can see. Then I'm clicking done. Then I want this triangle to be inside the circle. So I'm going to hold on this one and transform just this layer and I put it in it might not be perfect I don't have a stylus so my hand is blocking everything my finger is blocking everything I'm doing so I can't really see so as you can see it's all placed together but they are all in different layers so if you clean anything if I'm on this layer like I explained if I should erase on the square layer I should erase anything it's just the square that will be affected the circle or the triangle will not be affected so i'm going to go back again so the same thing happens once you're on different layer and you erase it's just the things on that layer that will be affected and there's this option whereby okay you have all your drawings at this region but you don't like the fact that it's on this region you can transform all the layers so let's say you want to move something and you click on this part this will only move the circle you're not moving the entire um, drawing but the fact that you want to move the entire drawing to the top part of the screen what you do instead is on any of the layers just click on it and transform all layers once, once you click on transform it like this enables you to move everything not just the circle alone because you're on that circle layer it enables you to move everything because you clicked on transform all layers and you can zoom it in zoom it out to anything you want then you're done and if you are if you're interested in making more circles and you're stressed about going to pick a shape and start drawing a new circle what you just do is just hold on that layer then click on duplicate you can duplicate it as much as you want then you can transform it to the position you want the circle to be so as you can see you can transform it. this happen this i use a lot of times when i do like my um eyelashes like if i do the eyelashes in a cartoon and i'm too stressed to um draw another one on the on the right layer on the left part i just duplicate it just duplicate it and transform it i have um a drawing there so this might affect my um transforming i just transform it to this other part and flip horizontally so i just add that part to the second part of the drawing as you can see and there's this um features which um this adobe draw has which is quite amazing and i really like let's say um I'm going to this first layer which is the square layer and the color on the square layer is um, this bluish color I don't know much of color so this bluish called cyanide or I'm not sure this color and I want it to be purple then what I just do is I come to the last layer with the square and hold down the the blue and it automatically turns it to blue um, to purple sorry it turns it to light purple so the same thing happens with this um big circle this big circle in the middle if i want to turn it to another color i can pick another color and just hold down part of it and it automatically turns it to um what's it called to yellow 
and there is this option which is known as autofill most of the time i've seen a lot of you ask me um how do i get the colors in like when i'm shading my hair let's say for example um this is black i have this hair shape drawn of a girl this is just a rough sketch don't mind my drawing so i have this hair drawn so the time it's going to take me to start um the time it's going to take me to start shading into this hair manually this is going to be time consuming so what i just do is i just make sure every line is connected so i have to make sure all the lines are connected see this is what i do mostly so this part is not really connected i make sure all the lines are connected to each other and it is it's in an enclosed circle so once i'm certain the lines are connected i just hold in inside that line and it automatically fills in that color with any color you want you can change the color and just hold the part just hold it down and it's going to change it sorry it's still on black so just hold it in it's going to change the color to anything you want so i'll be uploading more tutorials on how to use the adobe draw and sorry last i forgot this layer which is this um icon here which is the plus icon you can add image or draw layer the image layer is where you can put a picture as a reference so you can trace out the shape and the person's pers um, facial features so i this i know this is not a detailed or in-depth um, tutorial on how to use the app the application but i'll be uploading more videos on how to use the adobe draw um, illustration and thank you guys for subscribing to my channel i'm so grateful and i really appreciate all the support and love you've been showing to my channel and for those i selected for the giveaways i know i have not um done with the pictures but i will be done with it very anytime soon and i will have it uploaded so thank you for being patient with me and thank you for subscribing see you next in the next video thank you